Alrighty kids, so today is the first day of doing the construction part of this process. So let's do the annual, oh yeah, there we are. So what you did not see is this painted floor yet. That's what I did off camera last time. So the whole floor got painted, just a bunch of random colors, just so the floor does not rust. And then all these little doodads are where the holes for the seats were or just other screws that went through the floor um, and it was exposed to the actual road. So what we did, we got a OSI quad. Window, door, and siding, sealant. It's a very good sealant. It's waterproof. And then we put flashing tape over top of them uh, to completely seal those tool vaults. What the? So that is all done. Now we are gonna get into the framing so what we need to do is frame out the floor because we're putting one inch one one inch insulation all over the floor so we need to put bracing and then you put plywood over top of that and then our insulation will actually go in between the joists. so that's our project for today we're gonna get tackling it. My brother might stop down and help me a little bit. So you might see him helping me. And if you do, don't let him scare you. He's a nice guy. Looks terrified though. So that's our project. So we're gonna get to it. The first thing we had to do was to get two by threes and rip them down on the table saw into one inch thick strips. Those one inch thick strips will act as our joists for the bus that the insulation will go in between. So we had to cut down about, uh, I think it was eight two by threes into our strips. After that, I got a cut list together. So I measured out all my lengths of board I would need to go around the wheel wells and just little jot outs. And then after that, I went over to the miter saw and actually started cutting all those lengths down so everything would fit in there properly. After everything was cut down on the cut list, uh, we actually went back inside the bus to start installing all the joists before the insulation could be installed. Uh, we got a bunch of our boards cut already and what we're going to do to fasten them so since it is a bus and not a house that is just standing still it's not moving there's going to be a lot of rattle and a lot of shake so we want to screw and glue the heck out of it so we have the big mamba jamba liquid nails to put on the underside of our board that way that will hold it down and then we'll also run screws through it into the actual frame of the bus so we want this to be as sturdy as possible since there is going to be a lot of rattle when I'm freaking hauling booty down the road at 80 miles an hour. Let's go. So we're going to do this now. That's what we're going to do. Sweet old mosquito. So we'll show you how this first one's done. We're going to get a big old, oh, holy. going to get a big old glue. Just run a bead right down the middle of your one by. Sure. She's all nice and pretty. Take that, flip it over, put it in place. Beautiful. And now we're just gonna start screwing it down. I have inch and a half self-tapping uh, stainless screws so they don't rust. We're just gonna tap it right through the frame. Self-tapping means it will self-tap itself into metal. So. Look at that. So we're just gonna do that to all the spots we're only going to screw onto the plates running across because that is where the most support is. Just like that. And oh, it is in there like swimwear. process that we are going to be repeating 
over and over and over again throughout this whole bus. Okay, so we just got our perimeter laid out in wood. So now we are going to start getting all those boards and running our strips in the middle. We'll get to that now, and hopefully we can get to insulation today as well. We are completely done with putting in the joists and what a royal pain in the butt that was. I literally thought it would be super easy. I got self tapper screws, could just zip them suckers right through the floor, but no, projects have to suck. So I busted off like probably nine drill bits trying to pre-drill the holes then half the time the self tapper heads would break off and what a miserable time. We can move on to starting to put insulation in and then putting subflooring down. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah, we'll do that. So also to something just for anyone that's curious, this bay over here is like 20 inches and then it goes 16 and then it goes even smaller than that in the middle. There is a reasoning for that. It's that all the high traffic area is gonna be in the middle um, and nothing really on the ends. So we want it more stable here than on the ends. It doesn't really matter because that's just gonna be cabinets, but everyone will be walking in the center of the bus. So that is why we just put the choices a little bit closer in the middle. You don't have to, it was just something I wanted to do. And it happened to just fall in line with oh, the wheel well here too, that just worked out. So if you were wondering, that's why. If not, that's also why. This is the insulation we got for insulating the floor. It is one inch thick foam board. It has an R value of five. Now, what R value is, it is just the rating for how well something is insulated. So just for like a reference note, in a residential home, the standard code for your walls is R19. So this is only an R5, so it's a lot less than that. R19 fits in a two by four wall. So I couldn't build up the floor four inches or else I would just lose a ton of room. So I built up the floor one inch and now we're just gonna cut all these down into strips and put them in between all the joists and then be flipping Gucci. Okay, so this is kind of neat. If you buy this stuff, I think this is what this is for, I'm not sure. So you see this line right here that runs all the way down, that's like a pre-cut. Well, that's already on 16 inches because generally uh, all stud bays and floor joists are 16 inches apart. So that's actually kind of sweet. We can literally just zip that right on that line and we'll have our measurement. Where the heck did I put my razor blade? I lost my darn razor blade. I haven't, I literally just had the thing. What a hot mess. I found it. Hoja, hoja, hoja. All right, time to cut. Oh. Wiggity swag. Well, the, the bottom side should be the exact same, but get rid of 16. Let's see if these suckers fit. Well, look at that, huh? 
Oh, hello. Hold up. Look at that. I might glue these down just so they're not, I don't know yet. What do you think I should do? Glue them down? I don't think they're really. So the only thing I'm worried about is like when the bus shakes, you hear like the rattle, not the rattle, but like, here, like kind of that noise. Um, I'm not sure if gluing them down would really help. I don't think I'm gonna glue them down. I don't think they need glued down. So we're not going to. Let's just keep throwing them in. Oh okay, yeah, this one might need trimmed a little. Oh maybe not. Maybe not. Hey hey! Look at that, Johnny! Well Okay, maybe this side needs trimmed a little. One minute. Still too long. And there we are. Look at that. Sweet. First two strips in. Heck yeah. Alright, let's get the rest. So I took measurements between all the joists and started cutting down all the foam insulation that we would need and put it in the bus ready for install. Look at that, huh? Yes, sir, this is coming together. Just got purple everywhere. Uh, so let's start putting this shenanigans in. Yo, perfect fit. I'm better than any other insulator. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect fit on this one. That's okay. Let's try to flip it. Try to flip it. When you're building a bus, you put in insulation for the floor. Let me, let me talk to you boys and girls about the bus build so far. So, so far, Couple little snags here and there. Big snags here and there. But it ain't too bad. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you like to play the cello. Hello! Let me know if you guys are enjoying the content so far. If there's any changes or things that you would like to see. And uh, suggestions, if there's anything cool that you're like, yo, you should probably build that in that thing. If I like it and think it's a good idea, I might throw it in here. If I think it's a stupid idea, I probably won't put it in. But, you know, you always can try. Because the only thing I can say is no. That's what my mom used to say. Also, it's Memorial Day weekend. Uh... I think I'm going to the cabin. So I might, I know I said Sunday this video would be up, but it might not be up Sunday. But I don't think any of you are too surprised for how my last two videos have went. So, that piece is goody goody. Boogie the boogie. Let's get this guy in. Nice that cut was. Kinsinella, Shakira, Shakira. I'm in tonight and make it store line. And voila, the last piece of insulation is in. Uh, well, people, it has been. All day that I've been working on this thing. And honestly, I didn't get that much done. I got all the insulation down, all these things down, and I should have way more done. 
but it's flipping Memorial Day weekend and I'm working on a bus. So I'm not super motivated, but the floor is relatively comfortable. So that is, that's a plus. Um, but I need to start putting subflooring down. I just don't want to. I would love an egg salad sandwich right now. So if someone would just run over here and get me an egg salad sandwich, it would be like one of the top 10 nicest things someone's ever done for me. Uh, yeah, you know? Subflooring, yes. All right, let's put some subflooring down. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh. My back. So freaking jack. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try to get this first piece in. Oh, that's going to suck. This would probably be easier with two people, but I'm a one man band. Oh, I'm going to break that window. That is a horrible sound. Yes! And this part's gonna be mildly terrifying. Oh. Ouch! Alright, that's it. Oh, don't freaking tell me. Well, that is a crying shame. Because of that lip, we are not going to be able to do full sheets, which is actually a very sad day. All right, we had to cut that first plank in half right here, just right on this joist, because with the two lips on either side, uh, it couldn't fall in place. But we got it in, and it looks sweet, tight fit, except Right here, it went an inch too big because I read the tape measure wrong, but that's not that big of a deal. That'll all get covered up. So it's pretty sturdy. I'm pretty impressed with it. So now I'm gonna lift it back up and here, let me spin you around. I'll lift the whole thing back up, spray foam in between the cracks real quick, and then start screwing it down. All right, so we're about to put, oh my, look at this. No pencil action. You know, you're a real carpenter when you got two pencils in your ear. Anywho, back to what we were doing. We're about to put the subflooring down. So what I need to do first, here, let me try to get a, there we go, is put, it's like, I don't even know, gaps and cracks. It's an insulation uh, in between the joist and the foam where it doesn't quite meet up. And then I'm also gonna need to put down liquid nails onto the joists before we put the subflooring down because we don't want it to rock or roll at all when we're driving down the road. And then we'll screw the whole thing down. So this process is a little intense. It's not for the faint of heart. You need to be strong and independent to do this, but it's, uh, it's not bad. So let's roll.
All right, so we are done for the night. Off camera, I got in this last piece of subfloor. Um, so we got that much done. We just got this little bit right underneath me to do yet. And so now we're just gonna clean up a little. The yard is an absolute train wreck. Oh, like I have so much cleanup to do. This is one bad thing about myself. I do not clean up as I go along. I make a very huge mess and then clean up everything at the end and it sucks because, oh, and I took our stop sign off. It was a very sad day because garage just got that thing working and now it is no longer. Rip. Oh, well. Anywho. Yeah, look at this mess. So project now is to just clean that up, but the bus is coming along. I was thoroughly happy with what got done today it took a lot longer than i expected but as it is so we are going to stop for tonight and pick up tomorrow so we will see you guys then ladies and men men and ladies i did not get any more of the subflooring done because over the weekend my back decided to be a 70 year old man with dentures and i was just walking on some grass and Boom. No more walking. I'm paralyzed from the legs down. I'm just kidding, that would be horrible. I'm not paralyzed, I'm probably gonna edit that out because someone will have a problem with that. Um, no, my back just is horrible, it always has been. I've always had problems with it. Literally a 23 year old with a 73 year old back. So something just flew in my back when I was walking along and I've been out of work for the past two days, went to the chiropractor and he went, <coughs> broke me back in. So hopefully I'll be up and running in a little bit. But the subflooring is exactly where I left it, but I figured I had enough content. Let's finish out that video and we will just go on with the next video next week. And that will be the framing of the walls and probably getting all the walls and ceiling insulated. So stick around for that. But that's pretty much it for this video. I'm gonna go ice my back and take my dentures out and get the doctor to work on my cataracts. So have a good one. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you're new and you like bus build content and just random building stuff, uh, you can subscribe. That way you don't miss any of this glorious content that I publish trying once a week. I'm getting a little better at it. My editing is getting a little faster, so that is being improved upon. Also, um, if you don't literally know me, like personally, like you're not my mom or my dad, and you stumbled across this channel, let me know how you came across the channel down in the comments below, um, just because I'm curious, and it would be cool to see. So, till next time, my dudes, peace out. This is the Heffrey Geller channel.